is I'm the new guy go easy and I am going to show you how to trigger an explosion by pressing a button. Uh, it's not really any purpose to that but it just gives you a general idea of how buttons can actually trigger entities. Anyway, uh, first things first, uh, if you're unsure how to make a skybox, spawn entities or create brushes I recommend going to a lesser tutorial as I will not be covering it during this tutorial here. Now first things first, I've already created my spawn point and my two brushes, uh, but I haven't changed any properties yet. Okay, now what I want to do as well is I also want to create an entity over here. Now I want to enter the configurator and change that to env underscore explosion. Okay, it should auto correct as you're typing it anyway and just hit apply. Now as you can see, it's just changed the uh, little entity into an explosion uh, yeah, symbol. Now what we'll do is we'll call this explosion uh, explode, very uh, creative. Alright, so we've got a name for it. Uh, you can also change the sprites and everything as well, so you can change what the explosion will look like uh, using Valve's many, many sprites. But if you want it to work properly, I recommend leaving as it is unless you know what you're doing. Okay, um, we'll leave that one for now. Now the second thing we want to do is we want to create a simple funk underscore button. Now to do that, again just hold down control and press T to enter the, uh, the object properties. Type in funk underscore button and apply. Nice and simple. Now we don't need to change anything here unless you obviously want to. So move speeds, direction, filter, that type of thing. Uh, the thing I like to, uh, to do during the tutorials is just click it so it doesn't move and uh, leave everything else as it is. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the Outputs tab. Um, yep, so basically once you're there you want to click on Add, type in the explosion's name, so Explode, sorry, my, sorry about that. Uh, first thing you want to do is My Output Named. Basically uh, on Pressed is the one you normally use for a button. Now you want to find Explode which is Target Entities Named and via this input you want to make it obviously explode so there's a couple of different things you can do but explodes the most relevant one we're going to use okay so once you're done hit apply um, to make a bit of better effect I might change the reset on this one um, to, to, to nothing okay so once uh, once that's oh, that's all done you again you can change the properties and explode so uh, the flag so um, make it no damage when when players are hit uh, repeatable, yep. Um, you can do no fireball, no smoke, that type of thing to just improve uh, performance in your maps. Uh, no sparks, no, you can go through and have a look anyway. Alright, so once we've done that, we're going to uh, save the map as uh, explode test. And we'll boot her up and see how we go. Should be a nice quick compile time. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, it's been a long time since I've done mapping. So I'll just change everything to fast. Uh, as that's only a very, very basic sort of map. And we're done. Okay, let's give her a test. Okay, so uh, as you can see, um, the button here, when you press it, triggers the explosion entity to explode. Now, if you had clicked no sparks or no smoke, then you wouldn't be seeing any of that smoke or sparks, obviously. So, yep, basically it doesn't block any human movement. And if I was to get stand there with a friend, then they wouldn't be harmed as I clicked. Again, no damage. So that's pretty much it. Uh, very, very simple uh, thing to do. Uh, and quite good if you want to add it to your map as well. So, I well, hope this tutorial helped, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned for some more stuff from me. Thank you.